How is it to go? Well, not out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. U for the Nintendo Wii U. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. And let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. Um, do you like desert levels? Yes or no? If yes, which one is your favorite? I would love to know in the comments below. Since now we're going to Layer Cake Desert, which is World 2. One of my favorite worlds of this game. Absolutely love this desert world. It's one of the best worlds in the game. You can actually get a squirrel suit right here, just in case you did not know. And we're going to try to speed run through this World 2, because World 2 is very easy. First dark one's right there. Very easy. It's all you got to do. The second star coin's in here. And there we go. We're on a roll. We can probably get the third star coin pretty quickly. I'll say it's going to be pretty easy to get it. Alright! The third star one is pretty easy to get if you have the squirrel suit, at least. And we have 19 lives now, and our goal is to get to 99. That is our goal, is to make our way to 99 lives. Cutscene coming up. That was all my my all time double favorite stuff, and may I and I may never see it again. Ah, this is no time to stand around. He was headed for Acorn Plains. Oh, I almost forgot. Pops are a sewer fire answer when you're in a rush. Hey, just telling us about warp pipes and stuff. Now we're going on to 2 2, which is Perilous Pokey Cave. This level is an example of completely hidden when it comes to getting the star coins. Because, like I said, they do hide the star coins really well in this game. I really wanted to keep the squirrel suit because it would make the level a lot easier. But this game is pretty difficult at times, just in case you did not know, this one is pretty difficult at times. Okay, that's your first dark one, pretty easy, right? There we go! Like a boss! That is the second star coin! And there we go. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Alright, so this third star coin is another example of completely hidden right here. It's an example of completely hidden because I don't expect you to find this your first try. But it's pretty easy once you know how to get it. No! It 
it's hard to commentate dude every time this is one of the more execution heavy um platformers ever uh, this is a pretty difficult game and this game requires more focus out of me than than a lot of the other mario platformers because most of the mario platformers are on the easier side and this is one of the more so difficult ones There we go! 21 lives! We're on a roll! We struggled a little bit with getting the third star coin, but that's alright. Because we messed up a little bit of getting it, and it... So there's some levels in this game that only takes a very, very minor error, and then you won't be able to get the star coin no more. So, I may not be able to commentate in every level. So we have Ice Flower now. We know New Super Mario Bros. Wii was the first 2D Mario game to have Ice Flower. Yes, it wasn't in Mario Galaxy first. It wasn't a 2D Mario game to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. The only two 2D Mario games that have this power up are New Super Mario Bros. Wii and this game. The only three Mario games that have this power up are Super Mario Galaxy 1. Um, New Super Mario Bros. Wii in this game. Alright, that's our first Dark One. Very tedious, but... Like, that's the thing about New Super Mario Bros. U. They want to make the Dark Ones extremely tedious. And this is only World 2. And you'd think it'd still be easy when it's World 2. But a lot of the Dark Ones in this game are very difficult to get. A lot of the Star Coins are quite challenging to get in this game in comparison to the other new Super Mario Bros. games. I mean, the game in general really is not that hard except for getting Star Coins. We're not going to go down that secret area right there because there's nothing special down there. for the win like a boss. We have 23 lives now. Is the name of it. So, this tower right here is a very unique tower. Keep in mind, those blocks crush you right there, they're kind of the of Mario Galaxy. To where if you're at the wrong place, the wrong time, you're dead. 
and Comet are crushing cogs in World 1's Tower. Or if you're at the wrong place at the wrong time, you're dead. So be aware of that. So we're going to be spending a lot of these by using those they are. Which in the in the original New Super Mario Bros. Wii game, you had to shake a Wii remote in order to be able to do it. At least in this game, you can use a button to spin like this. Go! Those MLG Pro Strats! I think we can do this without the screw. It's not gonna be easy, but we can. What? Who? These MLG Pro Strats! Why am I doing some ML? Why am I doing some speedrun tactic? I know you can speedrun this level if you have the squirrel suit. You can definitely speedrun it with the squirrel suit. MLG Pro Strats. There's no way I did some challenging strats in this level. We're gonna do this. And now we're gonna take down Boom Boom again. The second time we have to fight Boom Boom. We know Boom Boom's easy. That was a fail. We we are halfway through World Two. Go. We know there's a secret level and then not. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys and have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!